Hey Worship Leader, welcome back to the channel. I got a special treat. It finally, finally came in the mail. If you've been watching videos the past month or so, I did a little mini series on three so far, New XFX budget type pedals. And I said I was gonna give them away and then it just stalled because I was waiting on the fourth pedal and the fourth pedal was sent to me, but then it got caught up in customs or something. And for all we know, it's still there, but they sent me another one. The guys at New XFX said, hey, that's okay. We'll just send you another one. Here it is. It's the Masa Moon. Boom. Let's open this thing up, see what it does. Top down shot. There we go. Oh, there it is. It's a white pedal. I love white pedals. And look at that thing. That looks good. Booster and compressor. We have the boost on this side and the comp on this side. On the boost side, we have boost level here. We have drive level. On the comp side, we have blend that goes from 50% all the way to 100%. Love the blend knob. Uh, sustain is how much your signal gets squished, how much it's compressed. And then here we have the comp level, which is kind of like, I mean, you could really drive your signal if you wanted to. We have two different clipping options. We will hear what they sound like. Um, I've already listened to this pedal a little bit. When it's in the down position, everything is pretty subtle. And then when you clip it up, it gets pretty heavy. As far as the uh, boost side, back to the boost side, we have a high cut uh, dip switch right here. I can tell on higher gain settings, it just cuts the highs, so it's not so annoying. On the back, we have an input output external foot switch. Yes, yeah, so you can use any um, external foot switch to uh, control these. They have their own brand, it says, or you can use any of them. Uh, regular 9 volt power supply and then right here we have some um, routing options when these two dip switches are down like this they're just running in parallel so hence the the parallel option here if they're both up um, what it does is it selects one at a time so if you select this and then you select this this will automatically turn off and then one up one down just determines which comes first the boost or the comp so this one right now says boost pre is on so that's the boost pre the comp and then this is comp pre the boost pretty simple and straightforward so let's plug it in and see what it sounds like but i want to say up front that um in some of the other videos we were wondering what this would sound like with the studio pro the other new xfx uh pedals and um i've already tried it Sounds pretty good, but you're not gonna hear that in this video. I'm gonna wait till I do the pedal board build video, the announcement giveaway. That's all coming up in another video, so you're gonna have to wait. Today I'm gonna run this through um, the worship template in my expanse pack, and so you'll get to hear what it sounds like. Just run through the stomp and uh, hear what it sounds like on its own. Let's plug it up. All right, like I said, we're gonna be playing this through the worship template, actually the second worship template that I just added to my expanse pack. If you don't know what the expanse pack is, it's an ever-growing collection of presets. Um, you pay once, you get updates free for life. Go check it out, link down below. This is my clean tone. I'm playing through a Reverend Gil Paris natural humbucker guitar neck pickup. <laughs> Bridge pickup. So let's start with the boost side, because that's what we want to know. We'll zoom in a little bit there. So this is with a high cut on. We'll leave it on for now. Can we tell the high cut when it's off? It's subtle, but it's definitely there. Um, let's bring the drive back and bring up the boost. I have to be honest, uh, when I've been playing with this, both the drive and the boost sound similar because you're boosting the boost level overdrives the amp 
because it's going in the front of the amp and then drive does the same thing. It should get more compressed and maybe it does. I haven't spent a lot of time with it, but they sound very similar. So like if I put the settings just like this and then reverse the settings, it sounds the same. So here we go. Maybe a little more compressed. And let's just crank everything. All right, so that's that side. Um, let's. Let's take out the gain and boost. I like that. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I can definitely tell that high cut is not as subtle as I originally thought. You can definitely hear it cutting the highs. Now, um, I actually have a compressor on already, so I'm gonna turn that off so we can hear the compressor uh, in the in the pedal. So here it is without the compressor on the preset Let's turn that off now. Let's just do the compressor I love the blend knob because you can get your settings just right and then blend in as much as you want. I did read that it says it goes from 50% to 100, so it's not like all the way off and then 100, uh, but you can pull it back to 50, and I kind of like it in a little sweet spot like right there. If you want to sustain forever, this is what really squashes your signal. Sustain for days. bring up this comp level and it definitely starts to overdrive the sound. So let's bring this down. I find this is a good um, level. I actually brought this down to here as my favorite. Um, and this this um, clipping is pretty drastic, so I'll, I'll let you hear what that sounds like. But let's get something that's about the same volume. in there. I'm going to clip this up. It's like there's more low end to it. You can hear it as it's ringing out. More drive. All right, let's hear how they stack together. So if you just have your comp on, um, I have both dip switches down, which means they are just running in parallel. So this is with the compressor. We'll put them both up, and now you can see the comp went off. It toggles. Uh, between them so I can put on the comp and automatically takes off the boost or you can shut them both off so that's how that works so comp or you can put one first and then the other so this is the comp 
pre the boost. Switch it. And this would be the boost pre the comp. That's the more subtle setting right there. I don't remember what I said because I was looking at it upside down, but this is the boost first right here. That is the more subtle sound. I'm gonna switch it. This is the compressor first. So that's good to know, you get a lot more drive out of it that way. And if you want to drive it, you could drive this thing. So we went from this. of drive probably don't want that much but that's what you can do so yeah my favorite settings would be probably somewhere in here so uh, what do you think I mean it's a good looking pedal I think it looks great um, I love the fact that they have these little rubber feet on the bottom because I can just put them on my on my desk they don't slide around I love that um, you get a lot of gain it looks good it's gonna look good when I put it on the board don't forget to subscribe to the channel because one of the next videos is gonna be building this pedal board I bought a pedal board got a power supply I got four pedals I'm giving it away, stay tuned for that. You know, as I was messing with this, I used to have a, uh, a diamond compressor, which come highly recommended. And this reminded me a lot of that, but it also has the drive and the boost side. So it's a pretty versatile pedal. I didn't tell you how much it cost. This pedal only cost $119. So in the budget range, yes, things add up when you get a bunch of them, but pedals tend to be that way. But instead of spending um, more money for like the diamond compressor, how much was that diamond compressor? Let's find out. $220 for the one I had. So $90 cheaper, it's a pretty good deal. So um, yeah, overall, I like it. Like I told you in the other videos, New XFX sent me these for free. So consider that sponsored or not sponsored. They didn't pay me any money. They didn't tell me what to say, um, but I guess it's sponsored. Somebody reached out and said, hey, actually it's sponsored if they send you something for free. So they did, they sent these to me for free. Um, they sent me the three original and I was like, hey, I love doing giveaways. I wanna do another giveaway if you don't mind. Uh, send me another pedal to complete the pedal board. And they were like, sure. So yeah, that's why they sent me this last one and I'm gonna give it away. So I'm excited about that. So pay attention to the upcoming videos and I'll see you in that video. Yeah, bye.